are going to study parts of flower and we have chosen the flower hibiscus and the purpose of choosing this flower is because we are we will be able to find out different rings that is different worlds of the flower let's begin i, I have already dissected this as you have seen in the video let's find out the pedicels what are the pedicels pedicels are this part which is attached to the plant and this is the sepal this is pedicel if i'll put it here i can oh, 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 oh i will put it here this is pedicel and if we are talking about the sepals this is the green green covering of the plant inner part which protect inner part of the flower during the bud stage um, bud stage and petals are this is i can put it here uh, let's put it here this is the sepal which protect the flower during the bud stage this is during the bud stage and this is petals which is brightly colored part of the plant to attract the insect for pollination and after this and a petal helps to attract the as i have told you already the for pollination and let's understand the stamen this is stamen this is stamen. this is stamen and this is anther this yellow color this is anther its, it's structure its structure is just see here this is anther its structure is this is so tiny that it's i'm not able to put it it's getting and this is filament this part is filament the anther has this kind of structure and this is this is anther yellow color this is anther and this is filament look this is filament i have separated it and now let's move this is what the male part of the flower now let's move to the next part now here also i have just removed different uh, the filament and the anther you can see and it has powdery substance inside powdery substance inside and it is covered with this layering so that it can go further for the fertilization now let's see the other part this is this is female female part of the flower that is we can call uh, that we call pistil or carpel this is the receptor of pollen grains from here this pollen grains pollen grains germinate when they fall on the stigma of a flower of the same species a pollen tube is produced that reaches to the ovule the male and female reproductive reproductive cells are called gametes fuse this and this fuse to form zygote and this fusion is called fertilization let's move to the next part then divides inside the ovule to form a baby plant called the embryo this is this is ovary and this is ovule i hope you are able to see this is ovary and this is ovule and now what happens after it is it turns into embryo fate of the flower what happens ki okay, bhai full apna dry up ho jata hai after fertilization the sepal the sepal petals stamen stamen stigma all dries up and fall off and then development of seed the ovule forms the seed now this ovule this form the seed where it has gone this form the seed of the plant and it has cotyledons and you know that cotyledons is the protective layer of the seed and it only this only turns into the fruit and the fruit is actually the ripened ovary i hope you have understood now let's move to the let's arrange it properly so that you will be able to understand it just we have done it it is sticky since all the living things have plenty of water in it so this has been sticky dried up this is if i can arrange it in this way so this is stigma this is style and this is ovary i hope you understood the different parts of the plant see this is yellow color flower and uh, one additional information that all the uh, most of the colorful plants uh, blooms in the daytime while the fragrance plants fragrant plants have flower having fragrant blooms during the night to attract the insects for pollination Bye. this is ovule ye ovary ka dissection kiya gaya hai uh, हॉरिजोंटली दैट इज दैट इज और यहाँ पर देखो देखा जाए कि यहाँ पर छोटा छोटा फ्लावर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बना हुआ है एंड दीज आर ओव्यूल्स इसको निकाले दीज आर ओव्यूल्स यहीं पर आकर के पोलन ग्रेन्स आके यहाँ पर फर्टिलाइज करते हैं